What is going on, New York Giant fans? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Hope you guys are well and enjoying the training camp content. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when the live stream pops or video drops. Appreciate it coming back. Share this out. Do all the good stuff. Another Roster Bubble Series video for you guys today, and we are going to talk about Javarius Owens, but... If you guys haven't been to these videos before, I take a player that's on the cusp of being cut. I talk about their background, their competition, ways they could win a spot on the roster, and ways they could lose a spot on the roster. So we're going to talk about Javarius Owens today, who was a 7th round draft pick of the New York Football Giants uh, back in 2023. He went to college at Northeastern Oklahoma A&M, and then transferred over to Houston for the rest of his collegiate days. In 2022 with Houston, 74 tackles, 12 games, 1 interception, one tackle for a loss, two forced fumbles, and eight passes defended. And we have not seen him too much at the NFL level. We've seen him for 37 snaps on special teams, no defensive snaps, and three games total. Two against Washington, one against the Eagles in the final game of the season. So we haven't seen him, which is why we have to go into his college traits. According to, to I guess you could call it sources, but they're not really sources. I'll go from Lance Zerline first of NFL Network. Owens has the physical ingredients to play safety. The mistakes he put on tape should be concerned, though. His cornerback background shows with the way he matches route breaks from man coverage, but he lacks the field vision and instincts to become a consistent playmaker from man or zone. Owens is a willing and physical hitter, but he takes suspect angles to the football and has too many missed tackles after the catch and run support. He has draftable traits, but the issues might be a difficult fix. Now, here is Pro Fo Pro Football Network's analysis of him. Athletic safety with a well-rounded game displays speed moving in any direction, crashes upfield defending, screen passes or running plays, and shows a burst to the ball out of his plant. Effectively patrols center field, tracks the pass in the air, and has a nice move to the throw. Remains disciplined with assignments, keeps the action in front of him, and possesses outstanding size. Viciously attacks opponents and plays with a nasty attitude. Works well with the corners to bracket receivers over the middle, and runs down ball handlers in the open field. Weaknesses. Stiff and doesn't redirect well to the ball handler. Inefficient and pursues, pursues plays. Must improve his ball skills. As far as the overall, Owens passes the eyeball test and flashed ability defending the run and covering the pass. He possesses a large upside and is a mid-round prospect who must learn to play under control and throttle it back on occasion. So... I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what the Giants actually have in stock for this guy. You know, he's a seventh-round pick, but he's in a new system in two ways. He's in a new system on specials. He's in a new system on defense. Now, he has gotten the gift of a lifetime in some ways, and I'll explain that in a minute. But who he's competing with, he's competing with Jalen Mills, who's on the NFI list, which, again, that's the gift. Because Jalen Mills is not taking any team reps. We don't know when he's coming back. He's been the second team safety. Along with Elijah Riley, your first team safety is Jason Pinnock. And uh, Ty Tyler Newbin's been out too. And uh, Dane Belton has been the other safety. So, And then they mix in a couple of guys on the third team like Alex Johnson and you know so on and so forth. So you could consider that competition. But Javarius Owens this far in camp has done really well. Um, you know, not too many bad plays. They really haven't put him in the box. They've put him deep. But you could see the vision that he has. You could see the instincts that Lance Zerline is talking about. I think he's gotten better at it. Now, Drew Locke could be staring down his reads. And that could be the way, you know, Javarius Owens has three passes defended and two interceptions. But it is worth noting that he's made the most of his training camp thus far and you really want to see it when the Lions come to town for the joint practice the preseason game and the Texans and then the Jets after that so and you know it, it's not necessarily a guarantee that the Giants are going to keep six safeties right you know Nick McLeod they could say is a safety but right now he's looking to be a corner so then you could say okay you got Newbin, Pinnock and Belton and need one or two backups Javarius Owens is a backup, Elijah Riley is a backup, and then Jalen Mills. And then you go on from there. Maybe you pick up a safety for special teams or a safety overall in free agency or the waiver wire. But, again, Javarius Owens with two interceptions right now and the ability to make plays and being on the second team is a big boost over all these different guys. So, 
Ways he could win a spot on the roster is definitely staying healthy. That would be a big push off to, you know, that would be a, a derailment, I should say, for him trying to make the roster is, oh, he gets injured. Then, all of a sudden, you're giving an opportunity to a guy like Alex Johnson or Elijah Raleigh to make the roster, and both can contribute on special teams, both are versatile pieces, but they haven't made the plays, respectfully, that Javarius Owens has made this far in camp. So, injury is one. Playmaking. We have already gotten that crossed down. Now, I don't think he's going to sit here and get five interceptions each day at camp, but sprinkle it in. Sprinkle it in in practice. You know, a couple of days later, you get a pick, right? You have some pass deflections sprinkled in there. It's not just, oh, you have two interceptions, three passes defended, and then the rest of the camp you're silent because that's how you lose a job. Now, they may want to keep him a little extra for the case that he is a draft pick, but again, he's shown favorable cause to this point. Um, I don't, as I said, I don't think they've used him in the box. I think if he adapts well to these three safety looks, maybe they get him in on the first team later in camp and later in the preseason. I know obviously some teams are already looking at these three safety looks that Shane Bowen has on film, but it wouldn't hurt, right? You know, Javarius Owens in the preseason against the Lions with Dane Belton and, uh, what's his face, Jason Pinnock, and then all of a sudden you have Javarius Owens. So that would be cool, right? The Giants did invest a draft pick in Javarius Owens. And again, he could be some fringe special teamer. But right now, while he's on fire, you want to maximize the most out of it. And again, I do want to see more three safety looks in camp a little bit because, hey, listen, you know, he's he has played up to the potential, not of his NFL career, but of camp. You know, he's making plays. So that... And really not going back on any of his flaws. He hasn't taken any bad angles that I've seen. It's not been notable. So that's off of the list. Taking bad angles. He really hasn't been getting beat too much in coverage either. He hasn't really been put in those situations. So he's been playing more deep safety. But I think it's an extra incentive if he does play against the run. Because you saw in that second report by PFN, this guy can play run defense and he can contribute in multiple ways. And that's what the Giants are looking for in some of these safeties. So how he could lose is injury again. If he has a good camp and then in the preseason games and the joint practices, if he starts falling off and getting beat, then we will know, okay, it's just him getting used to the system and then getting used to the mechanics and the cadences and all these other different things, the routines from the Giants quarterbacks, whether it be Drew Locke, Tommy DeVito, or even Daniel Jones on the first team. So he has to stay consistent. And if he doesn't stay consistent, then that's going to be bad for him. That might end up badly and you know him going on the practice squad or him might even being cut. So that's another way he could lose. And even going back again on his um, bad traits the the angle taking he's got to make tackles too the giants haven't had a lot of guys that have been reliable in terms of making tackles either on specials or yards after catch guys the giants can't afford to give up big plays on defense this season and i'd like to think that javari so is going to contribute to that because again you know he's been playing well so far you can't tackle but he's been taking the right angles he has his iq boosted a little bit so as far as that goes, I think Javari Owens is actually going to make the roster. As I said, I waited a little bit because I wanted to see what he was doing in camp, how the Giants were utilizing him, but they seem to utilize him pretty well, and uh, he's maximizing. So, with that being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or video drops. Appreciate you all coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later. Stay cool.